What's up guys, it's Monkey Bacon here from Sock Monkey Development, and today, Friday, 12, colon, 24, colon, 25, oh, got it, uh, we are starting off our tutorials, our advanced tutorials, and we're gonna start off with something that you're gonna kinda need to mildly know before we start off on some other advanced tutorials. It's not gonna be going in order, it's just gonna be like doing random ones, and if you have any, uh, specific ones you wanna see, you can email us, sockmonkeydev at gmail.com, post a comment. Message us, message me on Twitter. Okay, I'm Monkey Bacon, by the way. So, as you see here, I've made a wow. My desktop is just getting messier and messier, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> made a new folder. I called it Top Down because it's just going to be a Top Down shooter. You can use this with a current game you're using too, of course, obviously. It's just you need to take out what you learn from this and implement it into your current project or whatever you're needing this for. Or if you're just like, hey, I wonder how I'm going to do that when I need it, then do what I'm doing. So I have main.lua and config.lua. Oh, I just opened up Ableton Live. Uh, where? Okay, I am using gonna be using Sublime Text 2 with the Love 2D plugin. I can't can't find the link where I got this, but if you can find it, if you know what I'm talking about, then please post it in a comment. And I'll be sure to put it in the description. Okay. Uh, so uh, add a burp. So we're gonna require we're gonna make a new folder. Save it as player.lua. And of course, we have to require it, otherwise, none of the code will even mean anything. Player, uh, it's love 0.8.0, so I don't have to do the .lua. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, by the way, so it may, if I'm a little rusty, just just, just wait up. Just, you know, I'm going to be a little bit slow today. Um, so, first thing we need to do is make a table called player. You don't have to do this, but I prefer it because then it enables me to make variables that look a lot cleaner, such as player dot x instead of player underscore x, which just in my opinion is just nicer. Okay, so let's get started. We need to set the x position for the player. If you don't have this already, you may want to skip ahead a little bit. So I'm going to set that to 5. The y position, I'm going to set that to, let's say... 200 doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do smooth. This is smooth player movement, and it's gonna be on the x-axis. Uh, so yes, I'm not gonna be doing the y-axis because it's the same as the x-axis, just up and down. And I'm sure you could figure that out with your amazing brains. So we need a x velocity, which you'll see what this is used for later. But just save it at, or make it zero. And what else? We need a width. Player dot width equals 50 and player dot height equals 50. Oh, and just a couple more things. Okay, we need player dot speed. Let's set that to 50. Just like everything else. Uh, player dot friction. This is a new one. Is going to be set to 3.5. I think that those are right. I haven't tested them. I just did this before to make sure I knew what I was doing. But I didn't really. Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to say anything right now. I'm going to make this function. Jesus. It's late. Um, player underscore draw. Because we need to have the player displayed on the screen. And you do not need a picture for the player because I'm just going to be making a rectangle in the code. Actually, in this case, a square, but it doesn't matter. You can do this for anything, with anything. I hope you understand that you're just taking what you learned from this and using it in whatever you're doing. Take what knowledge you know from this and implement it into your game. Love.graphics.graphics, dot dot graphics, that's wrong. Love.graphics.set color. I'm going to make him completely white since the background is going to be black. Again, this part does not really apply to you um, if you already have a game. Or I'm going to make a rectangle. If you don't know how, love.graphics.rectangle. If you want it filled or just an outline fill, player.x, player.y. You don't, oh, I should have said that you didn't need the width and height unless you're making a rectangle. But, whoopsies. There we go. Okay, so I have my player drawn. I haven't done main.lua. I'm, I'm going to forget, but I'm not going to do that right now. So, you guys know how to do a lot. So now it's time to get to the stuff that you guys don't know how to do and that you guys are going to be learning. So we're going to need to do make a function called player underscore. I'm going to do control. It doesn't matter what it's called as long as you have delta time as an argument. Now, just a couple of things that we're going to do that won't make sense until I elaborate them a little bit later. We have to do type what I'm about to type at the exact same speed the exact same time as I type it 
player.x plus player.x belt. Okay. So player.x plus e equals player. Oh my god, that's wrong. Wait, is it? Sorry. Okay. Player.x equals player.x. No, that is correct. Player.x belt. I'm super off today, but I felt like I really needed to make a tutorial. So, there we go. Player.x belt equals player.x plus player.x belt. And this will all make sense in a little bit, but we don't have a y velocity. If you had a y velocity, you just add the y velocity there, add the variable up here, but we don't have that, so we don't need that. Okay, now, time to... Uh, okay, there is one line of code that we're going to be doing for the friction, but it would take me a really long time to uh, explain, and it may be actually in another tutorial, so I'm just going to paste it, and I'm going to post it in the description so you can just copy it from there or you can just type it in here whatever your situation is uh, there it is and what this is basically it's just basically using the uh, I can't even explain it without okay without this next part I can't explain it without the next part so we're going to be increasing the velocity which will be moving the player's x position, but it'll be increasing, so it, it'll go smooth instead of just immediately moving. It'll just like slowly gain speed and then maintain a constant speed. And the friction will slow you down when you let go of the key. If that doesn't make sense now, hopefully it will in a second. So we're gonna test if love.keyboard that is down D, means D, or right arrow key, whichever one using. We don't want then, we want and, because we have to test one more thing. Uh, we're going to make sure that the player's x velocity is less than 100, we're going to say. Because we don't want him to just infinitely gain speed. We want him to have a certain speed limit so we can, you know, it's it's just common sense of gaming. You don't want them any player to have an infinite amount of speed, <laughs> I guess you could say. It's just, it's just, you want to know what how fast the player is moving at all times so you can use that information with everything else that you type. So in this case, I'm going to know when I make like collision or I mean player, enemy AI, all that stuff that the player cannot go any faster than 100. Or the player's x velocity cannot go any faster than 100. So we are going right here by the way, you do not need to use delta time because we are going to be using it right here player.x velocity equals player.x vel plus player dot speed times the delta time delta time um i never used delta time there uh if you want to you can but it's it shouldn't cause uh you shouldn't need to i don't think if you do then leave a comment and i could be just being really stupid because it's almost it's 12 30 in the morning and i okay so now I'm going to test it for the left, basically the same thing, just with a different key. Oh, actually it is a little bit different. Uh, but I'm sure if you are an experienced programmer, you knew exactly why. Because it's not less, if it's not um, player to xvel is less than 100, it is if player to xvel is greater than negative 100. Because the uh, velocity is going to be going down, we're going to be subtracting it. So then player to xvel equals player.xvel minus player.speed times dt. So that means it's going to be going to the left because the zero, the x-axis is on the very left side of the screen. So there we go. Now we just have to use these inside of main.lua, which I'm going to do right now. So I have player underscore move delta time and player underscore draw. Okay, I have this all saved. Uh... The title for my game is, uh, I'm going to change it, it's, it's pretty bad, you didn't see anything. Uh, okay, I'm going to just YouTube, to, blah, blah, okay. Recompress, okay, this should be all, but I'm going to make sure I didn't make any errors. If I did, you probably caught them, but it may be something serious. Oh, oh geez, opened up my other game. Player underscore move a nil value. Let's see what's going on. Oh, because this player, that was, you guys probably didn't do that. Or you guys probably were like, wait, that's not the same. Uh, I 
use I called the wrong function inside of main.lua. The name of it was player underscore control. I did player underscore move. <laughs> Sounds like not smart enough. If you want to sound smart, use words with bigger letters. Okay, and there you go. If you don't have this, then message me and I'll try to help you out. Post if I can't help you out, uh, post it in a comment, post it on the Love 2D forums. Uh, add me on Skype, Monkey Bacon. Follow me on Twitter, at Monkey Bacon. Um, my dubstep band is starting to make music now. We're still trying to save up for some tools. We use Ableton Live, as you know, because I accidentally opened it up. If this wasn't uh, a good tutorial, because I was being way too tired and just like, maybe none of this made sense, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, uh, <laughs> then leave a comment. I can re always refilm it, and I'll just title it. Say, I'll fix it, is what I'm trying to say. If it's not good enough, I will come back and fix it. Um, Want to give you quality videos? Hope this helped. Hope you can, you know, tell people about this on the Love 2D forums. They're like, hey, how do I make the guy move smoother? Uh, it was something that I really wanted to know how to do, and it took me a long time to figure out. So I hope this helped. This has been Monkey Bacon. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe.